We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS. That's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Lord has called us to another wonderful moment in life, a moment that is grace-filled. For the times that we have not been grace to others, we ask for forgiveness. We cry out, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, you shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourself in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan, if ever you wrong them, and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up, and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows, and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act as an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take a neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak is his only covering for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. For from you, the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to await his Son from heaven whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks. So 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, a scholar of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. What is the greatest commandment? Even after 2,000 years, we're still asking the same question. We want to know what, what is really important in our lives. And I know that when we speak about the young, they have other things that are important to them. I was watching the news the other day, and even with all that is happening with the virus, a young man said that it's hard for the people of his age group to truly feel the impact of the virus because they don't want to put their lives on hold. But as you get older, there are so many other things that stand out as being important, such as family, friends, security, and life. We don't just think about the fashions of the day or just having a good time because we know that these things change more often than we have time for. Family is very important to us because we remember. We get caught in the throes of what was and we struggle with what is. Friends are important because the longer we live, we realize how fragile we are and how many of our friends have left us. Security is important, especially when it comes, when it seems as if the world is just always on the brink of war or some other catastrophe, such as what we are experiencing now through the pandemic. And no matter what, Somebody is always wrong, whether it's the doctors, the government, or somebody, but it's never us. Jesus gives us the correct formula for living the Christian life. In his time, the people had way too many commandments that they had to obey. We think of the familiar 10, but really, the faithful of Jesus' time had to follow closer to 613 commandments. Jesus explains what all these commandments are based on. Let us take the time to continue to open our eyes today and realize the importance of these great commandments and put them into practice in our lives today, to love God above all things, to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. It's not about placing blame on anyone else. It's about taking responsibilities for our own actions and our own decisions. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, our Lord, Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, 
the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In trust and confidence, we bring together our prayers before our loving God, who hears all of our needs. For pastoral leaders and preachers, for dedicated liturgists and educators, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For patient peacemakers and negotiators, for compassionate leaders and honest lawmakers, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For widows and orphans, for the abused and abandoned, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are affected by coronavirus through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who live with chronic illness or are impaired by addiction, especially among our viewers and listeners, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the joy and peace of the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the state of New York, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, once again, we come before you. We ask you to hear these prayers that we have voiced, and we ask you to hear the prayers deep within our hearts, and we ask you, Lord, to grant them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My life flows on in endless song. How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm. How can I keep from singing? How can I keep from my sisters and brothers, that these our gifts may be acceptable to our loving God. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven, And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, and all who serve and minister in your name. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress and worry, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. And to all of those in our viewing area, peace to you.
Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us be at peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers. It'll be a great guide for your daily prayer time. For your free copy, call us toll free at 1-855-855-MASS, that's 1-855-855-6277, or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click below to subscribe to our channel. If you receive our monthly bulletin, you may use the enclosed reply envelope to send in your regular offering. The Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please do your part to help keep Mass on TV and online. Thank you, and may God bless you.